What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, we got another episode of Mike Mel. We have two packages. We have one from Venomine Figs. And we got another one which I can't really remember. And then you know we got one of these notes. I have to go pick it up at the post office. That's that's great. Love life kids. Love life. That's all I'm gonna say. Love life. So let's go ahead and open up this one first, because this is the one I don't really remember what I have. Like, I really have no clue whatsoever what's in here. I have an idea, and is it what I think it is? Yeah, it is. It is, if you if you can't tell what it is. Um, a, an elite of someone I actually don't have currently, which is kind of surprising, because he's kind of easy to get. And it's a figure I've wanted for a very long time, this specific one. Why is this wrapped up so bad? It's just like, what is this? It's not even bubble wrap. Okay. It's Elite WrestleMania uh, 30, Daniel Bryan. You know, the build a figure corporate cane. I've owned this figure for a long time. Even got the belts. I have this big gold belt. I do not have this old scratch logo belt. And here's the figure itself. He said it was in good condition. Everything looks to be okay except the head scan, which I don't really mind because I'm going to be swapping it with a different Daniel Bryan. Make sure everything's good, nothing's loose. Um, and everything else seems to be pretty good. really love this figure from one of the greatest moments in history when he won the both belts, which is, explains this. So thank you to whatever. I really forget what his name is. I think I traded two women figures for it, plus I got the belts. So that is pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, thank you, whatever your name is. Moving on to Venomine's package. Open this up. As long as I don't rip something, I feel like I would do something like that and accidentally rip it. Because I do know what's in here. We got a basic figure, and we have some more fan signs. Because you know Venomine. I was hooking it up with the fan signs. First figure, or the only figure in here. It's from the NXT basic line. I could have got it myself, but you know, he hooked it up and he got me the basic Ty Dillinger. Pretty awesome. I don't think I'm going to need to get the Elite now just because, you know, basic Ty Dillinger of a mid-carder. You don't really need an Elite of. This figure is pretty awesome. We'll take a closer look at that. Well, you know, the most important thing, you all know. Oh, he even gave me the little dildo piece. That's cool. But the most important thing is the fans. Okay, um, gave me the stupid tra trading card too. But you know the most important thing, the fan signs. Come on, come on. We all love the fan signs. Gave me another stack. I'm so starting it off. Are you a Kyle? You know that's a little inside joke from you know our our live streams. No bunny equals no money. Get it? Cause bunny. The receipt of Venomine, uh, he even made my new logo, really love my new logo, I told him not to, but he still did it, WWE underscore dot figures is dead, true, WWE underscore stage underscore creator has fake followers, true, Teenage Toy Collector sucks, that's great, WWE Oz Collector has fake followers, that is also true, and the Kali face. So once again, got a bunch of fan signs. I'm going to put them in my crowd, and I'll show you guys after what it all looks like. And continuing this episode, I already opened it up because, you know, last time it took me a while to open up the package on camera. So no, this time I just did it the smart way and opened it before I started recording. Um, we got another trade package. He said he threw in a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Well, we will take out the first thing. And it is a basic Miz with a Damien Sandow head. All right. Okay, cool, I guess. The next thing looks like the best thing. I'll save that for last. Um, the other thing, which is kind of surprising. He sent me a picture of all the extra stuff he was throwing in. We have an Elite John Cena with better head scan and the hat and the chain so pretty cool pretty cool next is a basic Eric Rowan and I believe the sheep mask is in here as well yep 
Now, see, like, once you get one Eric Rowan figure, you never have to get another one. So that's cool. Um, next is another John Cena, I believe. Again, the better head skin. I like this old man head skin. It's like a custom with custom armbands, I think. Just the basic. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, here we go. We have a, another Jinder Mahal body to destroy. Because I had another one. There we go. Because I had another one that I got from another trade he threw in that I didn't record because I deleted it on accident. So now I have two gender bodies. Be looking forward to uh, a video coming up. Oh, and there's a an arm down here. Cool. I believe that's everything. And the best thing, like the thing I actually traded for, is in here. It is a... Custom Elite AJ Styles from the Royal Rumble. Has the P1 logo, has the club logo, even has a decal on his tattoo. Not the best decal, but still pretty cool. Um, yeah, this looks like a pretty solid custom. Not a bad job at all. From the Royal Rumble match, I believe he had with John Cena. I think this is what this attire is from. I think that's what he said. So, boom, that's pretty cool. Got the AJ, I got the Cena Basic, an Elite Cena, and Eric Rowan, all from whatever his name is. It'll be on the screen right there. Thanks for the AJ, thanks for all the extra stuff, and now we'll come. And we're going to end off this episode with a package from Steinsenberg Customs. You know, Cody, Team Rated CDS, you know, if you know him on YouTube. Or if you know him on Instagram, we got a package here. We did a trade. I'm kind of worried about this because he said some things and I'm kind of scared about it a little bit. Hopefully, he didn't actually do what I think he did. But knowing him, he probably did. So, yeah, that's great. I hope you guys enjoyed that video I uploaded two days ago. Um, the Jinder Mahal lighting him on fire. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Had some problems uploading it and stuff, but... Ah, uh, he, he did. He actually did. Well, first we'll take a look at the good thing here. And that is this basic great Kali. Great. The great Kali is just a great human being, great wrestler, great person. And the next guy we have in here is pretty, is the opposite of that. It is, uh, you, you know, um, you know him as Jinder Mahal, you know, everyone's probably like, Whoa, Jinder Mahal, that head's worth so much money. Uh, you know, look forward to another video like the one you've seen a few days ago. Happening to this. And he gave me a WWE belt, you know, I only traded him a body. So, you know, I, you got, I got the better end of this, but... Just come on. Come on, Cody. Come on. Come on. C come. He doesn't even deserve to wear this shirt. Like, he doesn't even deserve it at all. No, I'm taking this off. I think this is a Christian shirt or something. This will look good on my macho. So, thanks for that. I appreciate that and the Kali and, and the belt. But, um, this, like, why'd you give it to me? Oh, it's broken. That's great. Look, we're already off to a good start. It's already broken, so I won't even have to do that much breaking when it comes down to it. But come on, man, you could have sold the head. You could have sold this for, like, probably $50 and you gave it for free. But don't worry. Uh, I have some plans for it. So, you know, you know fuck that. I'm not going to go into that. So thank you, Cody, for uh, the gr uh, greatest wrestler ever lived, the great Kali, the belt, and, and the shirt. I really appreciate it. Just look at that head scan. Tell me that isn't good. Tell me that's not fucking awesome. So thank you, Steinsenberg Customs, for the great Kali. Uh, go follow him and subscribe. Links will be down below. And, uh, yeah, now to the outro. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mike Mail. I know there's only about three or four packages, but don't worry. We got more videos on the way. Uh, more crazy videos, I guess. If you have any recommendations on what you would want to see, uh, let me down. Let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram, at MikeTheWrestlingCollector. And, uh, yeah. Peace out.